Hi guys, good day, it's me, Teacher MJ, or topic for today. It's all about finding the missing terms in each arithmetic sequence. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So if you have given sample like this, it's easy for you to find the numbers, the missing numbers, because you just need to get the common difference. Now to get the common difference is you just simply subtract the second term minus the first term. If you have given second term and first term, you can just subtract second term minus the first term. But if you don't have the given second term and first term, example number four, you don't you have the first term but you don't have the second term. So the thing that you will do is you just need to subtract the given term minus its previous term. So 29 minus 20 and that's the common difference. So that's how you answer this one. But if you have example like this, this will be the part of our video. What if you have given examples, you don't have two consecutive terms. You have the first term and you have the last term. So same with number two. You don't have two consecutive given terms. Same with number three. So what will be the thing that you will do? So that will be the next part, uh, next part of our video. So feel free to see the link in the description down below. I will just put the link class on the description down below on how to answer this one. Alright, so let's start with the basic. Let's start with numbers 1 to 10. So once again, to get the common difference, sim simply subtract 12 minus 3. So 12 minus 3, second term. So second term minus the first term. So 12 minus 3, therefore the common difference is 9. Same with 21, the third term, this particular term, minus 12. So 21, third term minus 12, you will get 9. So therefore, the common difference is 9. So the thing that you will do, even if you add 3 with 9, so 3 plus 9, that is 12. 12 plus 9, that is 21. So 21 plus 9, so the next number, 21 plus 9, it should be 30. Then 30 plus 9, that would be 39. And 39 plus 9, that is 48. Alright, you're done with number 1. Very easy, right? So number 2. So once again, subtract that particular term minus uh, this first term. So the second term minus the first term. So 3 minus 8. That is negative 5. So therefore, the common difference is negative 5. Okay, common difference is negative 5. So if you subtract 8 by 5, so 8 minus 5, that's 3. 3 minus 5, so 3 minus 5, that's negative 2, of course. So 3 minus 5, that's negative 2. Then negative 2 minus 5, so negative 2 minus 5, that would be negative 7. So this is negative 7. Alright, so negative 7. Minus 5, negative 7, minus 5, this will be negative 12. So this number will be negative 7 and negative 12. Alright, so that's how you answer this one. So just subtract minus negative 2, minus 5, negative 7, negative 7, minus 5, that's negative 12. Alright, let's have number 3. So subtract the this given number, 12 minus 5. So since this these are consecutive numbers, so this particular number minus its previous term. Right? So 12 minus 5, that is 7. So 12 minus 5, that is 7. So therefore, the common difference is 7. Since we're dealing with arithmetic sequence, because always remember, if you're dealing with arithmetic sequence, you're dealing with the common difference. So 12 minus 5 is 7. So 5 plus 7. So add 7. 5 plus 7. 5 plus 7, that would be 12. So 12 plus 7, therefore this is 19. And 19 plus 7, that would be 26. 26 plus 7, that would be 33. Alright, so we're done with number 3. Let's have number 4. So you don't have the second term. You have the first term, but you have the third term and the fourth term. So therefore, we can subtract the fourth term. Subtract fourth term and third term. So, four, 29 minus 20. Alright, so this will be 29 minus 20. So, this will be 9. So, therefore, the common difference is 9. Alright, common difference is 9. So, therefore, we can add 9 here. So, 2 plus 9, this will be 11. And 11 plus 9, that would be 20. And 20 plus 9, that's 29. 29 plus 9, this will be 38. Alright, very easy, right? So, that's the thing that you will do. You just need to subtract the number, the, the particular term minus the previous term. So, 
Let's check for this one, 10 minus 4. So the third term minus the second term, 10 minus 4, that is 6. Let's try the fourth term minus the third term, 16 minus 10, that's also 6. So therefore, the common difference is 6. Alright, so the common difference is 6. So 16 plus 6, this will be 22. And how about this one? How will you get this one class? 4 with, with regards to the previous term. So therefore, we subtract 6. Right, so this will be 4 minus 6. So 4 minus 6, this will be negative 2. This will be negative 2. If we will check negative 2, and the common difference is positive 6, let's check. Negative 2 plus 6, that's the common difference class. 10 plus 10 minus 4, that's 6. Or 4 plus 6, that's 10. 10 plus 6, that would be 16. So negative 2 plus 6, this will be positive 4. So that's correct. The answer is negative 2. Alright, very easy, right? So let's try number 16. So to get the common difference, subtract the second term minus the first term. This particular term by the previous term. So 14 minus 17, this will be negative 3. So therefore, the common difference is negative 3. Alright, so 17 minus 3, that's 14. 17 minus 3, that's 14. Then 14 minus 3. So 14 minus 3, that would be 11. And 11 minus 3, that would be 8. And 8 minus 3, that would be 5. Alright, so that's the answer, 11 and 8. So you try, uh, let's try the last number, number 7, then you try class 8, 9, and 10. And you put your answer in the comment section down below so that we can check if you really understand the topic. Alright, let's try number 7, last number. So, since we have two consecutive terms given, so we have 19 and 24. So we subtract 24 by 19, so that would be 24 minus 19. So the common difference is, the common difference is 24 minus 19, that is 5. So the common difference is 5. Alright, so what will we do to get this number? What will be the number that we will add 5? We will get 19. Because the common difference is 5. So what would be that number class so that we can get, when we add it by 5, you will get 19. Of course, that would be 14, right? Or you do reverse once you get the common difference and you are told to find the numbers the numbers before this given number. So the thing that you will do, you do reverse, you subtract this 19 by 5. So 19 minus 5 is 14. 14 minus 5 is 9. Then you do it, uh, you do the the, the first way, the, the first method, you, you add. Okay, you do it reverse, you add the, the common difference which is 5. So 4 plus 5 is 9, 9 plus 5 is 14, 14 plus 5 is 19, 19 plus 5 is 24. So that's how you answer this one class. If the given terms, if you have two given consecutive terms, it's very easy. You just need to find the common difference. And then when the given numbers are before this given terms, you just simply subtract. Alright, so that's how you answer uh, in an elliptic sequence and finding the missing terms. So you try to answer 8, 9, 10. And then you put your answer in the comment section down below so that we can check if you really understand the topic. And then, our next video, once again, do not forget, the next video will be this one. What if the given terms are not consecutive? You don't have given consecutive terms, what will we do? So, I will just put the link in the description down below with regards to this one. Alright, so once again, this is Teacher MJ. Do not forget to share, like, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help them. Bye-bye!